morning students today we are going to see tenses the different forms and their uses what is a tense then a sentence is incomplete without a verb the verb indicates the time of action tenses are form of a verb that show the time continuation or completion of action or state so students let's begin but before i start just have a look on this chart of tenses there are three types of tenses showing time present past and future and four aspects simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous the time and aspects combined to make all the 12 tenses the present time and the simple aspect make simple present tense then we have the present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous in the same way past and future tenses are formed now let's begin with simple present tense simple present tense it shows a habitual action routine or fact we make the simple present tense with the subject and a verb in the v1 form for example i drink coffee ramesh works as a teacher note that in the second sentence we have works with s when the subject is i you they we and plural we use a verb without s and when the subject is he she it and singular we add s with a verb present continuous tense it shows action happening at the time of speaking the form is subject plus is am are plus v1 ing that is v4 just look at this table where to use am is and are for example i am drinking coffee it is raining they are doing their work now the third form of present tense that is present perfect tense it tells about experience and recent action or event its form is subject plus has have plus vt students we use have if the subject is i you they we and plural and has if the subject is he she it and singular let's see examples i have written my notes ram has finished his work see we have used have with the subject i and has with the name that is singular ram now present perfect continuous tense it shows an action that has started in the past and is still continuing the form is subject plus has have plus been plus v1 ing again here if the subject is i you they we and plural we use have and has if the subject is he she it and singular for example she has been waiting for her friend for 2 hours she has been waiting since 5 pm students now see the difference between for and since used in the above sentences the difference between for and since is that for talks about the amount of time like to us and since is used to mention the starting point of action students here is a point to know if you use i am waiting to see the doctor for 2 hours 
और ही इज प्लेइंग टेनिस सिंस ही वॉज अ चाइल्ड बोथ द सेंटेंसेस आर इनकरेक्ट वेन वी मैंशन द अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम दैट इज टू आवर्स और स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट वी मस्ट यूज प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस दिस इज ऑल अबाउट प्रेजेंट टेंस स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट सी द पास टेंस simple past this tense is used to tell about actions completed the form is subject plus v to form i played cricket with my friends the verb here is play we make the past tense form by adding ed to it but some verbs have special past forms for example i gave him a gift the verb here is gave this is the past form of gift and this type of verbs are called irregular verbs now let's see past continuous tense this tense talks about unfinished ongoing action in the past the form is subject plus was where plus v1 ing the children were studying the thief was hiding behind the bushes now with the past perfect tense when we have two action in the past we use the past perfect to show which action happened first its form subject plus had plus v3 the train had left when we reached the station students here we can see there are two verbs had left and reached but had left here it is it is showing that it had happened first before we reached the workers had completed work before the owner arrived Now let's see past perfect continuous tense. It expresses an action that had been going on for some time in the past. The form is subject plus had plus been plus v1 ing. The workers had been constructing the flyover for the last five years. Now, students, all this is about past tense. Now let's start with future tense. Simple future tense. It is used to talk about events that are going to happen. Its form is subject plus we shall plus we one. For example, I will join the swimming class next week. See the second example. In few days, I will know my result. Now. future continuous tense it shows about an event that will continue in the near future students here is the form it is subject plus we shall plus b plus v1 ing perfect continuous tense it expresses an action which will be continued in the future for some time the form is subject plus we shall plus have plus been plus v1 ing for example i will have been completing my karate course when i reach senate 10 so student this is all about the tenses the 12 forms students here's an assignment for you all i will give you sentences and you have to write in 12 forms see the sentences number 1 we turn to outdoor activities i'll repeat the sentence we turn to outdoor activities the second one tom grows up in the humble surrounding tom grows up in the humble surrounding See the third one. Smita stands at the window. 
Smita stands at the window. Fourth one, they win the match. They win the match. The fifth one, she swims across the river. She swims across the river.